Uh, I head the applications business for Dell uh, Services for India, and I extend uh, again a very, very warm welcome to all of you. Uh, I know you run very busy schedules. Uh, it's Friday evening. You would have had the option of being elsewhere. You chose to be here, and as Raman said, uh, you braved the uh, Friday evening traffic to be here with us today, and we really appreciate your time. What uh, I'll be doing in the next uh, uh, five to seven minutes is giving you a very quick overview of the business that I belong to within Dell, which is Dell Services. <clears throat> so Dell Services is an $8.5 billion organization. Uh, and these revenues come from four main lines of business. The first is global support and deployment that provide services that are tied to the products that we sell. Services like installation, commissioning, break fix, and product support. The second line of business is uh, infrastructure and cloud computing. And as part of this business, we build data centers for our customers. We build uh, disaster recovery centers for our customers. Uh, <clears throat> we provide remote IT infrastructure management services and we also run some cloud data centers in North America and other parts of the world. Uh, the third line of business is security solutions. And uh, this has been built on the back of an acquisition that we made of a company called SecureWorks, which is an Atlanta-based security services and consulting organization. And the fourth is applications and BPO, which again I am a part of within Dell Services that focuses on providing application services and BPO services for our customers. So uh, today, Dell's transformation as a comprehensive IT solution provider is complete. Uh, we are engaging in strategic engagements with our customers, long-term engagements with our customers, providing end-to-end -end complex uh, services and solutions to them. <clears throat> Coming to the apps and BPO business, uh, this is a vertically aligned organization and we focus on four main verticals. The first is healthcare and life sciences, which focuses on verticals like healthcare service providers, pharma companies, and health insurance providers. The second is uh, BFSI, that focuses on financial services organizations, banks, insurance, and capital markets. The third is commercial, where the focus is on verticals like manufacturing, CPG, uh, retail, uh, logistics, and transportation. And the fourth, is a very US-centric uh, vertical, which is US federal government, where we do a fair bit of business in the applications area in uh, the US federal government space as well. And supporting these uh, verticals are uh, our service line, which bring uh, technology capabilities to the customers we serve in these verticals. So we have application services that brings capability both on custom apps as well as package apps. In custom apps, we develop and maintain applications around Java, .NET, or any other open source platform. In package apps, we bring very strong capabilities on SAP, Oracle, JD Edwards, PeopleSoft, Siebel, SFDC, Microsoft Dynamics, Ramco for India. Uh, and in addition to custom apps and package apps, as part of application services, we also provide application testing services to our customers. The second service line is BPO where the focus is not so much on uh, voice-based services or contact center-based services, but more on uh, non-voice-based services and transaction processing services that we provide to our customers. The third is apps modernization, which is the theme for today's uh, event, uh, where we help our customers modernize their IT application landscape. And the fourth is business innovation services that focuses on the next generation technology themes of mobility, cloud, social media, and analytics. So even within uh, apps and BPO uh, and application services, we are able to engage with our customers across the value chain from uh, consulting to development and implementation to providing application support. <clears throat> India is extremely strategic to Dell. Uh, India is obviously a very large IT services market. Uh, it's a very fast growing IT services market. But that's not the only reason why India is strategic to Dell. Uh, outside of US, the largest workforce for Dell is based in India. So we have 23,000 plus employees in India, out of which more than 15,000 are dedicated only for the services business. India has been identified as a powerhouse market, and Raman spoke about it uh, in his keynote, which means all our solutions, services, and products 
will be offered to the India market. Michael Dell visits India at least once a year, if not twice. He was here a couple of uh, months back. Suresh Vaswani, who heads uh, Dell Services globally, is in India at least three or four times a year. And uh, we are making very strategic investments in India. Uh, investments in terms of increasing delivery capacity, investment in terms of uh, go-to-market, and investments in terms of creating services and solutions that are specific uh, for the Indian market. <coughs> Coming to the central theme for uh, today's event, which is modernization. Modernization is not uh, a, a independent or a separate line of business for us. Uh, it is uh, a theme that cuts across our verticals and cuts across our service lines. Uh, to give you some examples, uh, in application services, we have modernization offers uh, uh, around Visual Basic to .NET, uh, SharePoint 2007 to 2010 or 2013, uh, modernization to HTML5. When it comes to package apps, we have uh, offers around SAP modernization, where we help our customers modernize their SAP landscape from Solaris and Unix to a Linux or a Windows platform, uh, moving them from a traditional RDBMS to an in-memory database like HANA, or implementing mobility solutions uh, on their SAP landscape. On business intelligence, we have a BI modernization uh, offer. Uh, and you'll be hearing a lot about this in the, in the subsequent sessions. But the key message here is modernization is a very strategic focus area for us. It's an area where we are making a lot of investments. We have acquired companies that specialize in modernization services. Companies like Make and Clarity are, are some examples of such companies that we have acquired. <coughs> and, uh, and just to summarize, uh, you know, modernization is obviously uh, a differentiator for us. Uh, business innovation services, again, uh, and, it, and business innovation services resonates very well with the overall modernization theme. And we have created offers specifically for India in business innovation services as well, offers around mobility, social media, analytics, and cloud. And uh, we have also created a localized delivery model. We realize that Indian customers' uh, expectations from service providers like us and requirements from service providers like us are different from customers in other parts of the world and we have organized ourselves in a way, and both commercially as well as with respect to execution, that is more relevant for uh, customers in India. So that's what I wanted to cover uh, very briefly. Thanks once again for being here today. And I really look forward to interacting with you later during the day uh, uh, over dinner. Thank you. <laughs>